This is a begonia. You guys have probably seen these as bedding plants or something. Uh, I'm not going to really go into the flower structure much, but what I want to point out is the begonia has both male and female flowers separate. This one has male flowers, and these are all the the uh, the andresium. These are the stamens, anther and filament. And if I look underneath the male flower, I don't see any swelling. This flower is a female flower, and I think you can see. So these are the stigma lobes, and they're quite distinct from the male. Do I have another male? Oh, that's another female. That's another female. Um, anyway, most distinctive thing on the begonia is the female flowers have this triangular inferior ovary. So even if this flower wasn't open, I can tell it's a female. Here's another female. There's that swelling underneath. Here's a male, it's not open, but I can tell it's a male, there is no swelling. This flower is female. This flower here is male. And those look like they're gonna be male as well. When you have separate male and female flowers on the same plant, the plant sex is monoecious one house, both male and female on the same plant. The um, flower type would be incomplete because they don't have all four worlds and the flower sex would be imperfect. 